Welcome to a trigonometry revision video on rounding angles. This is only a short one, but let's remind ourselves of how we round off angles. Ask to round off uh, 32 degrees, 18 minutes and 27 seconds to the nearest degree. Now, if we're going to be leaving things uh, into the nearest degree, we'll be kind of chopping it after that. And then whenever we uh, want to round something off, we check the next section and see if it's more than halfway. Our decision is to whether to leave this as 32 degrees or to round it up to 33 degrees, depending on whether this 18 here is more than halfway. Now, once we turn it into degrees, minutes, and seconds, you'll be reminded that uh, this is out of 60. So that 18 would have to be 30 or more to be past halfway. So can you see that uh, that 18 is not past halfway? So we're just going to leave our rounding there as 32 degrees um, and not round up there. So that's just 32 degrees. So that's our thinking on that one. Here we're rounding this off to the nearest degree. So we want to chop it here after the 47. We're checking whether 32 over 60 is past halfway. And I think you can tell that it's just past halfway. So anything more than 30 um, minutes there, degrees, minutes, and seconds, we've got degrees, minutes, and seconds. Anything more than 30, 30 or more minutes uh, would round that up. And so we are going to round up on this occasion and make it 48 minutes, 48 degrees, sorry. All right, so there's a one that stayed the same and one that rounded up. Here we want to round this to the nearest minute this time. So we're going to chop it not between the degrees and the minutes, but after the minutes, between the degrees, between the minutes and seconds there. So we're going to check the next section over and see if that's over halfway. And I think if you think, remember that that section's out of 60 as well, a bit like uh, hours, minutes and seconds on your clock. Um, this is past halfway, so that will bump the 42 in this section, in the minutes section, degrees, minutes and sec sec seconds, <laughs> bump the minutes section up by one. So we're going to write out 24 degrees, 43 minutes for our answer. All right, now this one is quoted as a decimal of a degree. So it's 37 degrees and another 0.491 of another degree. So um, if to turn that into degrees, minutes, and seconds, we type that into our calculator, and then we press the this button here on most calculators. Some calculators have a DMS button for standing for degrees, minutes, and seconds. But if you type that in and press this button and then equals, we should be able to get that uh, reading out nicely. So make sure you know how to work your calculator for degrees, minutes, and seconds. So that'll turn it into that. 37 degrees, 29 minutes, 27.6 seconds. And that makes a bit of sense because this is just before halfway, isn't it? Just before 0.5. And so this should be just before 30 out of 60. Okay, this one, so if we're wanting to uh, go the other direction, to go from degrees and minutes back into decimal places, we would uh, type this into our calculator, most calculators, saying 69, then the degrees, minutes, and seconds button, then 37, and once again press the degrees, minutes, and seconds button, and uh, I would then press equals just to make sure it's in. And then I would, um, I think most calculators get you to press shift and then the degrees, minutes and seconds button and that uh, toggles back to the decimal version. But check it out for yourself on your own calculator. Get, uh, make sure you know how to work it for this. So uh, you should end up with 69.62 rounded off to two decimal places. So it'll be somewhere around 69.62 on your display if you've done the right thing. But get to know your own calculator there. The different brands act in different ways there. It's up to you to sort all that out, but uh, that's how we round off angles and express them in, in decimal form sometimes. Thanks for listening. Catch you next time for some more trigonometry videos.